presented uh, the next governor of Oklahoma with a tentative working draft of a proposed constitutional amendment and a proposed uh, control and taxing law in order to remove uh, alcoholic beverage from the control of the underworld and put it into legal channels. <coughs> we think that uh, by starting out this way, we can let the people of Oklahoma know what we're working on and what they can finally expect. It's simply a starting point, and my purpose in uh, uh, being here today is to turn this material over to the next governor so that he, together with his staff, may be able to study it and uh, uh, give us suggestions and ideas on what to put into the bill so that we may finally wind up with a model alcoholic control bill that will help Oklahoma rid itself of the social evils resulting from bootleg control of alcoholic liquor. Uh, I understand that there's, well, I know there are some rumors that there are already some revisions in the first draft that you presented a few weeks ago, particularly concerning uh, sale of liquor on the premises. Well, that's a personal thing with me. Uh, we have a 12 uh, man and, well, there's one woman on the committee, nonpartisan, some of them are total abstainers, wets and dries, so to speak. And uh, we put in there certain uh, provisions about the subcommittee did about uh, consumption of alcoholic beverage uh, on the premises by hotels, private clubs, and railroad dining cars. The purpose of that was to get the public reaction. What, when do you think that you will come up with something definite to, to present to the governor? I would suspect that it would take some time between now and uh, the first part of November. The exact timetable has not been developed, but I will say this, that we will develop a good bill, and one which the governor will call a special election on, or we will be out of business. Our aim, our object, our purpose is to develop a good bill, and we hope that we will be able to not only develop a bill that will pass, but one which the whole nation will say is the best control measure uh, in the country. I and think that it's fair to say that uh, Senator Muskowski is doing everything that he can, and so is his advisory committee, to prepare a model bill for submission to the people. The last three times that Oklahoma has lost in their football games, it has been to your team. Uh, do you find any significance in that at all? Uh, no, but I hope it continues when we <laughs> when we play them. They're a fine football team, and I think that uh, both teams are keyed up going into a game like that. And anything that can happen, anything can happen. And we feel very happy and very fortunate that we've been successful against Oklahoma. Are you glad to have a breather and not playing Oklahoma this year? Well, uh, Oklahoma's a very fine football team, and it's a, it's a great rivalry. And I think that uh, any year it'd be nice and fine to play Oklahoma and hope we can uh, do real well against them. I've been very much impressed by the uh, zest and enthusiasm and the wide appeal of the party. Apparently, uh, uh, most of the people I've encountered, encountered have naturally been Democrats, but they've been very enthusiastic about the uh, prospects this fall. He's been traveling in Russia and uh, in Europe, as you know, and I don't know what his plans are. Well, so we both have a very high regard for him. And I say I'm not a candidate for on the office, I have three and a half years to serve as governor. It seems to me if I have any future, uh, it uh, is directly dependent upon what I do as governor of my state. Uh, I, I couldn't very well come to Oklahoma, where we haven't elected a Democratic senator from New Jersey since 1936, and where we still have the upper house uh, Republican and tell Oklahoma what to do, I'm here to learn. 
I might point out that I think since we face this meeting of a national assembly, uh, that I don't think it wise to get into a violently partisan discussion on the matter. And uh, I don't think sitting where I sit that I uh, have a command of all of the facts that might be available to the Secretary of State. Uh, I do think that the administration generally in foreign affairs uh, has uh, avoided a bipartisan policy uh, and uh, has not shown a, an aptitude to either be aware of uh, the aims and aspirations of our own citizens or to be uh, quite aware of the need of winning friends in the rest of the world. I've never been able to subscribe to this brink of war statesmanship approach that the Secretary of State professes to have. Doctor, are there any new laws or changes in the present law that you would like to see passed by the next legislature? Well, of course, uh, th that's a hard question to answer. I think uh, there are possibilities for legislation that would improve the quality of education in the state of Oklahoma. I think one step in that direction is the uh, general plan as outlined in the program of the Oklahoma Education Association, which seems to have fairly general approval. What is that particular? Well, it would, uh, it would uh, stabilize revenues for school uses. It would uh, provide for improvements in teacher salaries, teacher retirement, and make the profession generally more attractive. I think that would contribute to teacher morale and would result in better teaching. Other than that, you haven't any particular legislative needs in mind, then? Well, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, any kind of legislation that would strengthen the central leadership uh, particularly the State Department of Education would be helpful. Uh, for example, if there were additional revenues to provide uh, for expanded guidance, testing, counseling services throughout the state, I think that, for example, would be useful. Recently, Doctor, there have been rumors of a need for higher taxes for city improvements uh, and uh, state governments. Do you foresee any necessity for a school bond issue in the near future? Not in the immediate future. The bond money that we have now, we're trying to stretch just as far as we can, and it will uh, suffice for two or three years. approached my desk at the uh, rear of the lobby and uh, <coughs> uh, drew a gun and told me that uh, if we obeyed his instructions that he would not hurt anybody but he was desperate and he came after the money and uh, we uh, <coughs> uh, were some of us were forced to hold our hands up against the wall while one of the ladies in the bank, Mrs. Carter, took the money from the cash drawers and the money that he could see in the vault and filled two sacks. I've always wondered what <coughs> would happen if someone came in with a gun and demanded the money, but uh, uh, really I, I was not afraid today. Is this the first time that your bank has ever been held up? Yes, our bank was organized in 1906, and uh, I've been here for 33 years. The bank has never been robbed before. <laughs> 